Derrick Henry, I, of course, the reigning king of the AFC South. But one could make a case for Jonathan Taylor because those are two of the best running backs in the entire NFL. And guess what? They're both in the AFC South and both co-favorites to win uh, the title of most rushing yards in a season. Over at BetMGM, both Derrick Henry and Jonathan Taylor, plus 500, 5-1, five to one, to record the most rushing Yard. So here's a question. Do you think it's one of these guys that wins this or do you, would you take the field? No, I do think it's going to be one of those guys. I would, I would lean Jonathan Taylor. I think I'm a little worried. The only, the only thing that worries me about Derrick Henry is his workload. And he's proven to be a unicorn in that respect. I always go back and this is dating myself, but I always think of Earl Campbell because he went to Texas and because he was that guy who was fast and huge and they just wore him down. Now, when he was great, he was an absolute revelation when he played for the Houston Oilers, but they fed him the rock so much, his body just couldn't take it. Derrick Henry continues to get that workload and maybe he'll be that guy. And he's certainly proven to be thus far that, is the exception to the rule where he doesn't wear down. But as big as you are, as strong as you are, you can only take so much punishment. He's just a man. He seems like he's superhuman, but he's just a man. And at some point, that physical toll comes into play, and you're not quite the running back you used to be. And I worry about him getting so many carries because you know the Titans' offense is going to go through him no matter what. And I worry about his body maybe breaking down where Jonathan Taylor has more of a free-flowing offense and doesn't have that wear and tear. So that makes me lean towards Jonathan Taylor. Earn is correct because we saw it last year. Derrick Henry yeah. got hurt because he is used so much, and that's just the, the problem with running backs. It doesn't even matter if you're – quote unquote, injury prone or not, eventually some of this is going to catch up to you. But looking at Derrick Henry, I think that he should be a short, short favorite over Jonathan Taylor if this was a head-to-head -head bet, just because the opportunity is going to be there. The Titans, to a fault, love running the football. Even when Derrick Henry was not in the lineup, they continued to have uh, the run game as the focal point of their offense under Mike Vrabel. Mike Vrabel loves running the football. So I'm wondering how much stock they're going to give to the pass game with Ryan Tannehill because, you know, people keep poo-pooing Ryan Tannehill after that mm -hmm. terrible playoff game, which is deserved. But still, during the regular season, he's been a good quarterback. He has been a nine-day difference for Tennessee from their last quarterback of Marcus Mariota. Yeah. So I do think it's a viable passing attack, but still, they are so committed to the run that I think it's going to be Derrick Henry who wins this award. But here's a strategy. You could put money on both of these guys – to hit the most rushing yards in the NFL and still come out with a profit, correct? Uh, a great idea, because I really do believe it's going to be one of these guys. They're just too good, and I I think that's a fantastic strategy, even though I lean Taylor, because either one of them could win it, and I just think that the, the rest of the field is – not far and away below these guys, but I do think it's these two guys and then sort of everyone else. So I think that's a great strategy if you want to play it. If you look at the rushing leaders last season, it was Jonathan Taylor way out in the lead with 1,800 yards of rushing. Nick Chubb, Joe Mixon, Najee Harris, Dalvin Cook, and Antonio Gibson were among the top rushers in the NFL last season. So maybe Nick Chubb uh, deserves yep. some credit here because he's going to be in an offense that we don't know what we're going to expect from the Browns. We don't even know who's going to be the starting quarterback for the Browns. So maybe that's worth a shot. It depends on the odds. But I do think it's going to be one of Derrick Henry or Jonathan Taylor, barring some injuries. This is the Daily Tip presented by Ben MGM. I'm Chelsea Messenger. He's Michael Jenkins. Coming up in 10 minutes on the show, Take Your Pick is back. And we've got some tough bets for you and us to choose from. So uh, we'll be looking forward to that. But shifting our focus back to the AFC South and some of these individual bets where maybe a player from the AFC South can win it, looking at comeback player of the year. Once again, Derrick Henry towards the top of the leaderboard at plus 350. And this is the one award where I think likability makes a difference. And yeah. who is more likable than Derrick Henry? And I think sometimes the problem is he doesn't get enough yeah, press right? because he is a quiet guy and because he's not constantly beating his chest or doing these fancy touchdown celebrations. But I think you do factor this into the award. And so 
it's going to be Jameis Winston that's contending for this title. And I will say a quarterback has won this award each of the last four seasons. So maybe Jameis has the upper hand there. But for comeback player of the year, do you think uh, between Derrick Henry and Jameis Winston, is there somebody you like? I like Derrick Henry. He would be my pick here, even at plus 350. I still think those are good odds because you make an exceptional point about him being likable. We want him to do well. He's great for the league. But let me throw out a long shot here because I love the value, and that is J.K. Dobbins for the Ravens. And the reason why I like him is that he's young, he's explosive, and if you look at that Ravens offense, they like to run the ball first. I know that doesn't seem like the case because they have such a dynamic quarterback in Lamar Jackson, but J.K. Dobbins was going to be that guy last year before he got injured. We know the Ravens want to run the football, so he's a guy that could sneak up and have a monster season in that offense because the Ravens are finally healthy and they were just banged up all over the place, including Lamar himself last season. So I might put a little bit on J.K. Dobbins. I think it's 16 to 1. That's incredible value. But I do think Derrick Henry is the favorite for a reason and will probably take it home. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Christian McCaffrey, speaking of running backs. Yeah. We talk about likable guys. We talk about guys coming off a major injury. Christian McCaffrey is a top three player in the NFL when he's healthy, when it comes to production. This is why so many people draft him when it comes to fantasy. So I think if he can stay healthy, he is not going to be, you know, 80% of the offense that we used to see him with the Panthers because that's just unsustainable. And that's why he can't stay healthy because he's involved on every single play, but still a very dynamic player, not just a running back, somebody who can come out of the backfield and catch passes and uh, extremely athletic. So I think Christian McCaffrey, 9-1, to one, also worth a sprinkle as well. Um, some other players on this list that are kind of intriguing. The fact that Deshaun Watson's 16-1 to one to win this award, who the hell is voting for him? If likability is even an inkling of a factor for this award, I don't think Deshaun Watson sniffs this award. If you like Deshaun Watson to win this award, take out your cash right now. Find a lighter and just light it on fire. Just light, watch it burn because that's what you're doing if you bet on him. That is a terrible, terrible bet. We don't even know if he's going to play this season. And if you read the reports, the thought is he might not just miss six games. He might miss the whole season. Though I wonder, here's the thing. If you bet on Deshaun Watson, you better be hoping that he misses the whole season because then maybe your bet would be voided. I'm not quite sure how that would work. But then if he gets a six-game suspension, he would still play. Your bet is in play, and all of a sudden you wasted your money. It's just stay away from him. I think another interesting one, Mitch Trubisky, six to, 16 to 1, or 14 to 1, I should say. If he, number one, starts for the Steelers, if he, number two, does well for the Steelers and can win some games – We've said it, quarterbacks get the upper hand in this award, but I'm not ready to trust Mitch Trubisky. 